It's a place where you're always glad to see your neighbors. Where the Constitution rules the view. Where down on the farm might just be the best place to sleep. And roses smell like food. You'll find it all on Orcas Island, and it's all just a ferry ride away. It takes a little over an hour from Anacortes to get to the Orcas Ferry Dock. The large island has a small time feel, but if you want to see its biggest neighbors, you gotta go to them. People from all over the world come to Orcas to witness some of the best whale watching there is. I'm gonna try and head him off at the pass. Over 20 years ago, Tom Averna came to the island looking for a way to put his background in marine science to use. I always wanted to work with orca whales and found there was a niche on orcas and uh, filled it. We got the leaders right off the pile point here. Just look right under that house. Decades later, Deer Harbor Charters is the longest running whale watching tour on the island. Orcas Island, really, if you look at a, a, a map geographically, it's right in the center of where, where we normally find the whales in the summer. We've got a naturalist who goes over the whole ecosystem, including the whales. We try and cover as much as we can. Look at all these whales! For Tom, right it's there. just another day in his dream job. Yes! For the watchers, it's a day they'll never forget. There you go. Oh. It's great. It turns them into kids. It turns them into kids. If a busy day on the water has built up your appetite, there's a place that smells as good as its name. We're at Rose's Bakery Cafe in East Sound, Washington, and we have been in business for about 17 years. Owned by John Trumbull and his wife, Johnny, Rose's reputation for great food has made them a must-eat place for locals and visitors on Orcas. We make everything from scratch. We try to stay seasonally. Um, to cook seasonally, to use as many local ingredients as we can. We make an assortment of artisan-style breads, we do um, baguettes and hard breads. We make a lot of pie, particularly in the summer. We work with a lot of seafood, all pretty much local to the Northwest. A lot of pizza. They even have a gourmet shop where you can find everything you'd want for the perfect picnic. It's a pleasure to be in a small community and serve them. After lunch, a trip over to Moran State Park is a great place to burn calories while taking in the views. We are at the summit of Mount Constitution. It's 2,409 feet. It's the highest point in the San Juan Islands. And the stone tower, which originally was a fire watch tower built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. Moran is the fourth largest state park in Washington. Shipbuilder Robert Moran, whose estate is now Rosario Resort, donated the land, which opened as a park in 1921. People come here to, to go fishing and, and swimming and uh, just enjoy nature. If you're looking for a place to stay the night, this B&B offers more than just breakfast. Well, this is authentic farm life. Susan Fletcher and her husband Bill run Turtleback Farm Inn, a B&B that sits on 84 acres in the shadow of Turtleback Mountain. So what we're selling is a step back in time. Old time feeling with modern facilities. The Fletchers restored this 1800s farmhouse to its former glory and built the orchard house in 97. Inside you'll find spacious rooms beautifully decorated with no detail overlooked. We offer a beautiful setting, though it's not on the water. It's very hard to duplicate this valley. Oh, there you go. In the morning, guests enjoy a hearty breakfast where your eggs are not only cooked, <laughs> they're laid right on the ground. But they're all fresh. We collect them every day. Running Turtleback for over two decades has had its challenges, but it's also given Bill and Susan a wonderful island lifestyle. People say, how can you keep doing it? And yet we can't think of anything we'd rather be doing. Getting on that ferry, you leave the United States and come to a very tranquil place without a stoplight. That tranquil feeling follows you wherever you go on Orcas Island. And it's all just a ferry ride away. Mm -hmm.